So guys, welcome back to the 0 to 100k Forex funding challenge, the series where I'm documenting the whole process, all the wins, every trade, and the lessons I learned from the process of going from 0 to 100k in funding. So it's now Sunday evening, market's about to open. I'll show you the charts in the morning on how that position's playing out from last week. And yeah, let's hopefully have a positive week. Hey guys, so it's Monday morning, uh, market's open last night. Still in this position, it's looking okay, not amazing bit of drawdown um but we'll see what happens we're either going to come like i said hit stop loss break down or we're going to hold this level and bounce it's looking more likely that we're going to hit stop loss which is okay i'm still happy with the trade um but yeah there's plenty of opportunities this week so hopefully we can capitalize on them date on this trade we're obviously opened started going up but we bounced from these lows because as you can clearly see we're ranging now literally just going sideways, which isn't necessarily bad because if we can bounce on these loads, which we're getting some buying momentum, we then hopefully can look for the continuation. We're still bullish on the daily time frame, So I'll keep you updated. Um, again, roundabout break even if I go to C Trader, roundabout break even. Um, so I'll keep you guys updated on this trade. Just looked on trading view. I'm out at the minute and I see I potentially could have been stopped out. I haven't got C Trader on my phone, so I don't know, but I'll have a look when I get home. I, I probably have been stopped out this trade, but again, happy with the trade. I'll let you guys know when I'm back home. We'll go over everything. Been stopped out, so not a problem. Again, it's probability. Happy with the 2.6 risk reward on this trade. Um, if we go to C Trader, you can see stopped out history. Again, 1% risk, so I'm happy with the risk on the trade. Um, and yeah, we'll look for more opportunities. Again, you can't win them all, but I know it's a good setup. It's part of my strategy, so I have to continue to take the setup. Um, but yeah, is what it is. Wins and losses are the same to me. At the, you know, you have to have that mindset. A win and a loss is the same. It's the process, not the outcome. It's the process of executing the trade. Was it a good trade? Yeah, I like this entry. I will review it, but yeah, overall happy with the position and we'll look for more this week. So one thing I might change, guys, is my times of trading. Years ago, I used to trade, wake up about half five, trade six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, which is London Open, and then trade the whole session. But now, recently, I've just been trading eight o'clock. As soon as London's open, I'll trade it. So I might look to change that because I'll take you to the charts and show you, but today... There's many opportunities on watch pullback moves that I was looking for, but they all happened around six, half six. So I missed out because I'm waiting for the eight o'clock London Open. So I might look to change that so I can capture some of these moves because I'm missing out on opportunities. But yeah, it's just a food for thought, really. So as I was saying, guys, look, if you look at these opportunities, so I mapped this out yesterday looking for the continuation and the entry would have occurred about six in the morning here. Go to another pair again. We pulled back to these areas of value where I want to get in at. This happened around 6, 7. Because I've been waiting for London Open at 8 to trade, I've been trading as soon as that's open, I've been missing out on some of these moves. Um, another one here, nice trade again. Look, these are on my watch list, and I'm looking for the opportunities to for it to go up. Pull back to my areas, but I'm just not at the charts to execute these trades. And by the time I'm at the charts at 8, it's too late. So, yeah, I might look to change that, as I said. But also gold... I'll take you to gold. Gold's looking good, close to an entry now. So if we break down on the five minute, get a close below a certain level, I'll be looking to short gold. Daily, completely overextended. I've uh, been going up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, it's been going up a lot. <laughs> Last couple of weeks, solidly been going up. We've now had a bearish engulfing. Um, so we're looking for the continuation to the downside. Again, a quick move because we're against the trend. On this one hour, see again, making higher highs, higher lows, upward trend. We've now broken down, taking out these lows, new low formed. So we're looking for the lower high to form around here. So guys, let me show you. Just waiting for a breakdown below this blue line. Price in this five minute breaks below this line is my cue to enter. So just being patient and waiting to see if we get an entry. So guys, that gold trade doesn't look to be providing an entry. As you can see, it hasn't broken down. We rejected this level and now we're continuing up. So we're not getting the sell-off that we want. So I don't think an entry is going to be likely. I don't think it's going to happen in this session. So probably going to go hit the gym, um, get some food, and then, yeah, come back to the charts, do my watch list for tomorrow. And then I'll check in with you guys tomorrow and see if there's any opportunities. Morning, guys. So it's Thursday morning. A couple of pairs on watch today. We've got US dollar. Swiss is looking nice if we can break out of this range and retest. 
and we've got Euro JPY, which also on the daily looking for the trend continuation move. So they're going to be on watch, going to be patient all morning, waiting for an opportunity. I've got tennis at about one o'clock, 12 o'clock, one o'clock. So I'll be going doing that. I've already arranged that. But yeah, hopefully we get an entry on these two pairs. And if we do, I'll keep you updated. So guys, a bit annoying. Um, obviously, I was looking at US dollar Swiss and what was the other one? Euro JPY for entries all morning. And obviously last night, saw potential opportunities. But I already had tennis arranged. So I had to go and play that. Obviously, not going to cancel on that. But I thought I'd bring my laptop and I'll trade when I'm there. I know roughly, okay, candles closed. I can look for the opportunity. Got to about the time I was looking. I was trying to connect to my hotspot. And US dollar CAD... Uh, sorry, US dollar Swiss has already gone off. It already went off, which perfect setup again. I was looking at it already gone off. So that's obviously frustrating when you, if I was at my desk, I'd be able to execute. No excuses. It's all down to me, but it's just annoying. But there was an entry, well, on Euro JPY, it broke above a certain level, not clean, but broke above. But it was, there was a lot of volatility. So I wanted to get into it relatively quickly. Um, there was a few negatives, obviously, looking back that we hadn't had a bullish candle close. But I was struggling to connect to the, the internet and I saw US dollar Swiss go off without me and I didn't want to miss this trade. I've been forecasting these trades for the last couple of well, yesterday. So I was watching this all day. And then, yeah, I just got stopped out of Euro JPY pretty quick. Um, some stupid errors. Again, good trades. Trades I'm looking at. Obviously, US dollar, like I say, US dollar Swiss is moving nicely, which is annoying. But Euro JPY, good trade. But I probably should have waited for a bullish confirmation more. But when you're playing and I'm on my laptop, it's difficult to execute those trades, especially when the Internet's not very good. So maybe in the future, I just don't trade, like don't think about trading. But I didn't want to miss these setups because I've been waiting for them all morning. So annoying, took a loss, but we'll bounce back. Quite annoying. Um, been stopped out instantly on this position. We broke above here. In hindsight, what I should have looked for is a clearer break above this 15. Usually I wait for a break above the 5 and we did technically get the break, which is where I entered here. But because we have this high here, I probably should have waited for a bit, a bit of a higher close. But as you would have heard, I was out and it was hard to get the internet and I've been forecasting this all day. US dollar, uh, sorry, <clears throat> US dollar Swiss, which I've been looking at. It's going off very nicely. It's very annoying when you see this because I've been waiting for these setups all day. And then I was already arranged and I was already busy. So I had to I had to leave. I had to go out. So annoying because they're perfect setups that are playing out. And now I've took a 1% loss. But not a problem. We'll bounce back. It is what it is. And yeah, we'll come back. Okay, guys. So there's no more trades now for the rest of this week. Um, the key takeaways for me, for myself this week. Number one, a lot of those trades played out earlier on. Six, seven in the morning. So I'm going to now get up and be aware and able to execute trades earlier. Like I said before, I'd only execute trades at past eight o'clock because of manipulation and want to wait for the volatility. But now, because I'm playing a bit more of a longer term strategy, I want to get in those positions at six, seven, if there's an opportunity. So I'm going to get up earlier so I don't, can't afford to miss those positions. Um, and also just make sure that if I have anything planned, I need to do it more last minute because like I said, there's a lot of free time that you have training where you're waiting for your setup and you have a few hours that you can go and do gym, see friends, work on other businesses. But when there's the time where you have to execute, sometimes you don't know when that's going to happen. It could be a Monday, it could be a Thursday, whenever the setup apply, like is there. So I'm going to do things a little bit last minute. If people want to do things with me, like my friends or family, whoever that may be, um, let's say we go to the gym or we go play tennis or do boxing or do whatever, I'm going to make sure that I'm going to do it all in the week last minute because i can't afford to miss that us dollar swiss position again perfect setup that i was waiting for but 
was busy and already had plans. So yeah, just be a bit more structured like that. But yeah, I want to appreciate. I want to say I appreciate all the support on the videos. Obviously, it's big like this series. A lot of people seem to enjoy it. And yeah, I want to thank everyone for the support, liking, commented, some commenting, and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Um, and yeah, I'll get back to you if you message me on Instagram. My Instagram will be linked down below. And see you guys next week. We'll see.